Today we're going to take a look at one of my all-time favorite pixies by Ellen Villa in a brand new color coming up. So what we're going to talk about today is Ellen Villa's Sky, a legacy pixie by Ellen Villa, one of my favorites, but it is in a brand new color called Biscuit Blonde Rooted. We're going to break that down. I purchased this from Wig Studio One. You can find it there too. Drop below the video, I'll drop a direct product link in the description. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can explore the colors and the pricing. If you have questions, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. Those of you that have followed me for a while probably remember my original review of this style back in, I think, 2016. And this has been a popular pixie among our community for a really long time. And it's easy to see why. It has a slight asymmetry to it. It has a lot of interest and texture. It's really pieced out in the front. It is more affordable because it doesn't have a lot of monofilament on it. And it's just an easy, easy wig to wear. One of those plug and chug wig styles as I like to explain it. So we're looking at that front piece of around four and a half inches, okay? So the, the front kind of meets up with the sides here to frame the face and the eyes very nicely. I love that. I think it's just a very flattering look from the front. It has a little bit of a forward movement to it, so it, it stays out of the eyes, but it perfectly frames the face and you don't have to worry about exposing the wig line. And then we have about a three inch layer here on the sides. Now it says about a five inch layer in the back and then that tapers down into a two inch nape. This cap is completely open with the exception of a little monofilament piece sewn in right at the crown and it just gives a little indentation of natural hair growth there. There's so much you can do with this pixie. Anyone that thinks that pixies aren't versatile hasn't tried this pixie, honestly. But I know you're all waiting to hear about this color. This is really why I purchased this again right now, this Biscuit Blonde Shaded. So the biscuit is spelled B-I-S-Q-U-I-T, if the information is correct. And I was really hoping that it might mimic the Shaded Biscuit uh, by Raquel Welch. That's my favorite blonde by Raquel Welch. And there are some similar notes, but boy, was I surprised when I pulled this out of the box. I didn't realize that it was more of a graduated, such a graduated fashion type color. And I don't have a, a color description yet from Ellen Villa on this style, so I'm just gonna go by my own eye. So I think that it's a combination of some gold blonde and some ash blonde in there. And that gold blonde is really like a very warm honey blonde and then there's some ash pieces that highlights that you can see here. And that blend um, is light and bright, especially so next to the root. So the root is a medium to dark brown, and that rooting stretches all the way back, and you can see this graduation of color. So as I move to the side, you can see that the blonde actually occupies maybe 30% of this total color because the base color appears to be that medium to dark brown and then this is all highlighted. And it looks like it's been, all the blonde has been trimmed off because you're getting a solid brown, medium to dark brown nape. So we've got a lot going on here, right? We've seen colors like this before. I think this one is done in a believable way. Uh, because it appears as though you've had your hair highlighted, it's growing out, and then you got a trim. Or you went out and you got this pixie, but you didn't have it re-highlighted, so you're left with this sprinkling of all those light pieces on top. So I think it is more believable than some of the fashion graduated colors that we see on the market today. Getting back to this pixie, this has a really light density to it um, and some longer layers, like I say, on the top as opposed to the crown and the nape and the sides. 
So those layers do kind of form a little bit of a symmetry here. Now right out of the box, and this was true with all of the sky styles that I've owned, it wants to part on the right hand side. Now this is an open cap style with a little, like I say, a little bit of monofilament there, but you can part it in any direction. And I'll show you some of that uh, versatility in the styling, but right out of the box with a little bit of a shake and application, it kind of wants to fall into that um, a little bit right of center parting space. Each one of these fibers is really fine, baby fine and silky. You know, it doesn't have a whole lot of body to it. Okay, so the density is very light and feathery as well. Um, so if you wanted to get a high, kind of a spiky look on this, you're probably going to need some product in order to sustain that. You do have quite a bit of permatease on this on the top and at the crown. None, none at the nape, a little bit in the back. And this is a straight style, as you can see. I'm not sensing any wave action or any uh, body per se in this. But you will see that shaggy back. So you've got to like what I call the chicken butt. <laughs> I love a chicken butt. Um, little fluffy back here. So that has been texturized and spiked out in the back. So I really believe this is a timeless looking pixie for sure. And it weighs a little over two ounces, so it's a really lightweight, again, plug and chug kind of a style, as I like to say. And I believe this one is universally flattering for all face shapes because I think you can uh, frame it around your face in a flattering way no matter what your face shape is. So let's go. Here's an inside look at the cap for Ellen Villa's Sky. So there you see a little velvet piece here at the front, a nice hidden weft right there, also for a more natural looking hairline, a piece of rose lace covering up wefting and permatease on the top, and then an oval piece of monofilament right at the crown. Behind that, you'll see all of the open wefts. You have a closed velvet ear tab, nice sturdy stays. I feel like this one has really nice coverage. Look at all that fiber there. And then in the back, you have a felted, very soft felted nape with Velcro style adjusters. This one seems to have a decent amount of stretch. I would say this is an average to petite average cap. Sky has always been a very glasses friendly wig style. And I love wearing glasses with pixies because pixie, the glasses then become a little bit of jewelry for the face. So here I have my little aviator sunshades here, which are perfect. It makes me think of summer. But of course you need sunglasses all year, right? For driving and things. So I'm gonna manipulate this hair. We're gonna fluff it up. We're gonna smooth it down. I'm gonna move it around so that you get a really good look. Um, at everything and also learn the potential of this really cute pixie. Be sure to check it out. All of the links are below. We'll see you again real soon right here on Tassa's Wig Closet. <laughs>